Hello everybody and namaste, which is to say welcome in Hindi. Yes. I'm here today with my friend Ankita Jaiswal, who is my tour guide here in India. Hello. And we've got a fun event going on today. Tell us what we're doing today, Ankita. So we are doing the henna tattoos today. So henna, back in the old times in India, there were not many uh, tattoo artists. So henna is one of the leaves, uh, it's a tree. So what they do is they grind a lot of leaves together and mix it in a little bit of oil, make it into a nice paste and that's how we put on our, uh, henna on our hands. Earlier there wouldn't, uh, there wasn't a lot of designs, a very elaborate um, tattoo designs that we have. So we used to put like a small lump here in the center. I'll show you a photo of it as well. And uh, like we used to just cover like uh, this top of every finger. So like a circle here and then this top of every finger used to be covered. So it used to look very pretty. Uh, but then later on, uh, the design started becoming more elaborate. Henna actually has a lot of uh, natural pop, uh, properties related to it. Um, so it has a cooling uh, property. So when you put it on your hand, it really cools down a lot of nerves uh, in your palm, which is really good. A lot of people actually put it on their head. Um, this is to cool down your headache, uh, to cool down your migraine as well and um, back in the old times india has always been very envi environmentally conscious and we tried to use uh, products which are chemical free so in order to uh, like how in today's time conditioners are uh, full of chemicals and everything in ancient india when people used to put uh, henna on their head and wash it after 10 minutes is uh, used to condition their hair so like a natural uh, conditioner and if you leave it for long it will turn into burgundy color, which is like a natural dye. Wow, so natural so, yeah. hair dye. And you have already had henna done, but yes. about a week ago, more or less. So you can see it's uh, very light now. It's been 10 days and it's almost gone from these areas. Yeah. But yeah, over but here, it's still there. The palms yes. are still there. So I have noticed on fair skin like mine, uh -huh. it doesn't last quite as long, right? Well, because Depends. if you're washing a lot of hands, if you do a lot of dishes, let me tell you, it's going to wash away in two days. But yeah. uh, if you're just traveling and having fun, um, not really engaging in household chores, it might last longer. All right. Well, let's go see the henna party that's in progress. Uh, we've got our group uh, out there getting different designs and I'd like something pretty dramatic. So let's see yes. what we can do. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we've got some design books here. We do. So you can go through and pick what you want. No, I'm good. And let's see, what do we have? A peacock. Wow, she's really fast. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, I mean, I know it was late, but... Barry's already done. It's like... Okay, so here's the thing, let's see, yeah. Here's the thing about henna, is that henna, you can see it's kind of blobby when it's mm -hmm. on there, but it's gonna dry and it'll turn black and mm. then naturally flake off. And then when it flakes off, it leaves the red behind. Beautiful, and with your nails, that looks fantastic. Yeah, In the Indian uh, weddings, it's a very prominent uh, ceremony, tradition that we do. Because 85% of the Indian population are still uh, do the arranged marriages. And arranged marriages in India can go up to 5, 6 days, 7 days. And sometimes the bride and the groom, they are not able to see each other even after 2-3 days of getting married. Because there's so many ceremonies with the joint family people, okay. so many people living together. So this is basically to um, make sure that they are uh, calmed down. Uh, they are not very stressed because uh, during this time when so much is happening, uh, they can get stressed very easily. And when the bride and her girlfriends has a yes. spa day the day before the wedding. Today. Something US, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so yeah, it has a cooling property and also it's a natural conditioner. So if you uh, put that paste uh, on your head, leave it for 10 minutes uh, and wash it off. So it acts as a natural conditioner. Uh, if you leave it for 5-7 minutes, not so much. If you leave it for longer, yes, it uh, sits a uh, natural dye as well. 
it uh, follows your hair into burgundy. That's what you see those guys. So this is my beautiful henna that has been done, temporary tattoo, and this would be something appropriate for a bride, for example. So, uh, although we might also do it on the palms, but what I have to do is let this dry. It'll take a few hours probably, and it'll start to flake off on its own, and then it'll be left stained. So it's a peacock, if you can see the head, and it spreads down to the fingers. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's kind of for you.